Forgive me for intruding, my lady, but I believe you're whom I'm looking for. Are you the Dragonborn? No, I am a succubus, damn it. My lady, my name is Casavir. I have been searching for the Dragonborn for some time now, in hopes of aiding you on your journey to keep the dragons at bay. I would like to offer my assistance. Oh, that is just great. If it isn't everyone's favorite white knight. I was not expecting to run into you here, but the irony of it all definitely suits you. I merely wish to assist her, much as I imagine you are doing now, Bishop. She doesn't need you. Go help someone who wants your holy righteousness. It's not wanted here. At least with me, her moral aptitude wouldn't plummet to the flaming depths of oblivion. Which, I'm sure with you along, it has been sorely tempted to do. You think a little too highly of yourself, Paladin. With you along, she'd get so bored she'd sprint and dive headfirst into those flames. Anything to make her feel alive again. Bishop is jealous. Then I'll leave. Simple as that. No, is there a problem with that? Give me one good reason why I should bother staying now. Obviously, you'd rather have him follow you around like a lost puppy. You can forget about it. I would never travel with that damn paladin. So what will it be? Do you want him or me? We want you, stupid. You overestimate your charms, princess. Don't fret, I'm not about to wilt without you. There are plenty of others who are more game than you'll ever be. Wow, you are such a dick. Then why do you want me hanging around anyway? I may as well start heading back now. Because we want that D. Oh, you want me, do you? Yes, you bastard. I want you. Well, when you put it that way, how can I say no? Isn't that what you wanted? I'll come with you like you asked, and you can think what you like about that. It doesn't matter to me either way. Just as long as the paladin isn't coming. Ha! <laughs> Look at the way he looks at you. It's almost like you're some sort of prize to be won. Now, now, ladyship. If I was jealous, he wouldn't be breathing. Pleased to hear you're giving it some thought. You are most kind. I am skilled in the art of battle and of healing. I've traveled a very long distance to get to Skyrim. I have met others along the way that have made a similar journey. Our paths have crossed a few times. Maybe they used to be lovers. To be honest, he is nothing but a savage wolf, looking for his next victim. As a paladin, I have sworn to protect the innocent and bring justice when evil has taken hold. I defend the world from people like him. Actually, that brings up a question I wanted to ask you and away from prying ears. I know we've just met, my lady. But I wanted to request your presence to attend the Grand Crystal Ball with me at the Blue Palace here in Solitude. I am new to these lands, and I am unfamiliar with the customs of Skyrim, and I was hoping you could offer me some guidance. I've been asked to attend as a guest of honor, and I was hoping that you would join me. If you choose to decline, I understand. We are going to the ball, Gora Hounds. You delight me, my lady. I am overjoyed that you have accepted my request. Might I suggest getting a ball gown? There is an excellent shop here in Solitude called The Jewel. They have an excellent collection of gowns that might interest you. I have already informed the owner of the shop that I will compensate her for anything you wish to purchase. Shopping spree fantasy? Check. When you get your gown and are ready, come speak to me. 
I will escort you to the Grand Crystal Ball, my fair lady. I need to speak with you. I wish to question me about the Dragonborn, don't you? You must really be getting knotted up if you're taking the oh, time to speak with me. It has nothing to do with her. Well, in that case, you can cut the bullshit, because otherwise you and I have nothing to discuss. I am watching you, Bishop. I do not trust you, and she shouldn't either. Really, that's the best you can do. You must be like that hundredth lust-filled liquor boots maniac that's quoted that phrase to me. Funny, though. It's literally the same thing I told her about you, that you're not to be trusted. We are spying on them. What do you mean? I told her you're not half the saint you pretend to be. You're the worst kind of liar, Casimir. You want so badly for people to accept the image you present that you convince your own self it's the truth. Now tell me, when you look in a mirror, what do you see? I'll bet you've even brainwashed your reflection. Hold your tongue, Bishop. No, no, you are in way deeper than that. There's not an ounce of honesty McCoy, in those eyes. For a veteran? It's she's too good for you. Ask. And she's gonna see right through that mask you put on. You may begin the night as this saint, paladin. But the man in you will want that wench in his bed, just as any red-blooded man would. Do not speak of her that way. Don't try and play martyr with me. She's more than capable of defending her own honor. She doesn't need you or anyone else to jump in front of her enemy's arrows. Your lust blinds you, you know to you that fact, and to the fact that she's too much woman for you to handle. No, she wants a man who's not afraid of making the hard decisions, and who will do what must be done. She wants a man who's a sight more honest than anyone who wears a temple's cloak on their shoulder, and carries himself like some kind of standard for others to look up to. <coughs> the afternoon is waning, guest of honor. I suggest you begin preparing yourself for the hardest struggle of your life. The hot, flesh and blood woman you'll have on your arm tonight. Now, be a good boy and get lost. I wasn't spying, I swear. I need to speak with you. <laughs> he might come off that way, but he's still a man. I don't care how he justifies the lies he tells himself. He can't deny his manhood. You're the kind of woman that gets a man's heart beating and the blood flowing. He's not going to be able to lie to himself about that. So you'd better be ready when he breaks. No! Do I look like some sissy-pants noble that would enjoy that sort of thing? No, I don't. Let's get something to eat. Too much Casavir can bring out one's appetite. I know his voice sure shrivels my gut. Only if I wouldn't say it to his face. And I would. Now what do you want to do after lunch? Of course. A guy who likes shopping? I'm in love. Time to try on pretty dresses. Hello, and welcome to the jewel. Are you the Dragonborn? Casavir has informed me that I should be expecting you. Welcome. I had it designed specifically in the likeness of the Blue Palace. My own rendition. Don't trust in Would any you like Skyrim to browse God. my finest dress collection? Everything you desire will be given to you. Compliments of Casavir. You're the all-powerful dragonborn and the most beautiful woman alive. What's it like living a legend straight out of a bard's dreams? The 
That is a fine choice. You look stunning, marvelous, absolutely breathtaking. You have all the men falling at your feet. Have a delightful time at the ball with Sir Casimir. You will definitely be envy of all the patrons. Wow, you look amazing. He'll like it, and he'll hate it, because looking at you will make his blood boil, and that's not something he's comfortable with. You'd make any real man's blood boil. <coughs> Flustered? No. Thrilled? Yes. Excited? Yes. Without a doubt. But I lose control. Not a chance. Does that satisfy your curiosity, Princess? Oh, my dear, you can look forward to me anytime. But your knight in shining armor awaits. I'll see you later. What do you think, Gora Hounds? I think we look hot. Okay, let's go to the ball. You look stunning. Sure. Though traditionally there should be great festivities, my paladin vows prevent me from partaking in a few of them. I must not partake in any drink that would impair my senses. Also, I must not dance too close. It would be inappropriate to encourage my sensual thoughts. He sounds boring. <laughs> I hope it will be an enjoyable experience for both of us, my lady. See you later, Princess. I wish Bishop was our date. Casavir is dull. You're the Dragonborn, aren't you? How about you put yourself to good use and shout the door open for us? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Let's get drunk. Did I just drink all that? Oops. Holy fuck balls. This place is amazing. Such lavish engagements are just bravado, I find. In 50 years, we will be old and wrinkled. 100 years, we're dead. Food rots, women turn spiteful, buildings fall apart and crack. Even the gold we show off will rust. So we show it off while we can. Oh my god, this guy is me. Even love never lasts. Just a dark, empty void where she ripped out your heart and stomped on it. I love you. I resurrected her grandpa from the dead for her. Don't look at me like that. Sure, he looked like a drogger, but it was for her. Fuck Casavir. We are chilling with this guy all night. Juliet is wearing the same dress as me. She must die. I grew up reading your life. One of us is going to have to change. Oh my god, Casavir, back the fuck up. These people aren't even touching. I'm gonna ignore that. Well, being a holy knight, I must maintain my vows, constantly upholding the cause of virtue and light. I must pray to keep a pure life dedicated to honor and justice. I must never succumb to worldly temptation. Boring. <laughs> but I am. Uh, I must apologize, my lady. May I have the 
his first doubts. He isn't allowed to have sex? No thanks. Where is Bishop? Fine, I'll dance with you. <laughs> oh my god. We are very good dancers. <laughs> Bishop. I'm here, darling. Don't mind if I cut in with you. May I have this dance? Bishop, what are you doing here? Why, I'm here to rescue a flustering little boy from himself. Now get lost, Casavir. She's mine tonight. Oh my god, my panties are wet. I must say, you look quite sexy tonight. All that armor you usually wear covers up the best parts. This is everything. Bishop, keep your hands off her. Well, he technically is keeping his hands off me. This is very romantic. Especially with him watching. Not weird at all. Totally normal. Feel like they're strangling. Unhand her at once. What the fuck is going on? Casavir, stop being a cock block. May I ask you to dance, my lady? Do you wish me to cut this wild animal's head off, my lady? It would be my pleasure. Forgive me. My lady, my lady, I have overstepped myself. I must profusely apologize. Please, forgive me. Unlike you, Bishop can have sex. I choose him. <laughs> that I am. I must apologize, my lady. Bishop looks so cute. My lady, I inquire you for a personal question. in my life. I find myself regretting ever taking my vows. Impressive city. Nice stone walls. And iron <laughs> then maybe I could sweep you off your feet like, like that brute of a companion somebody. you have. My life has its burdens, my lady. But becoming a paladin was one that I knew was the right path. Though I do find myself longing another life at times. But the evening is still young, and does not need to be dampened by my regrets. Farewell, until our next meeting, my lady. Thank you for the wonderful evening. We must do it again in the future. I'm reading the chat. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I'm just trying to catch up on chat. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, laryngitis is a bitch. I sound like I swallowed razor blades. May I ask you to dance, my lady? My fair lady, I find myself becoming concerned. And I worry about your current choice of companion. He is dangerous. I have known many men like him. They only care about their selfish gain. They only leave chaos and destruction in their wake. I am wary that he might be corrupting you. You are a good woman, my lady. You are a light in the dark world. A light that I find myself drawn to.
Excuse me. Perhaps I've let my feelings cloud my judgment. I only wish to warn you. I cannot force you to leave him. But whatever you choose, know that I am here. I will protect you with my very last breath. I'm lost again. Fuck this city.